What's up ladies and gents, thank you very much for checking out the video. Welcome back to my channel on what is another beautiful day in Surrey. Uh, if this is your first time checking out my channel, thank you very much. My name's Colo and this channel is all about learning and developing bushcraft skills. Today we are back at my camp, again, I know because we can't go anywhere else, uh, to add yet another little addition. So last time I was here I noticed that over there, don't know if you can see, if I can hold the camera steady, over there um, there's a couple of old pallets that have just been sitting there for, for a long time and I thought today I would utilise them and turn them into a wood store. At the moment I have nowhere really to store the wooden stuff that I chop and don't use when I'm here so I thought it would be really cool just to add, um, add a little wood store. So with that in mind, uh, I've never done it before so I'll probably make, it, make some mistakes but who cares, let's go! So the plan is to put my wood store here next to the fire mainly because it's probably the flattest bit of ground that I have other than right in front of my bed, which obviously I don't want my wood store there. So I just need to clear all this stuff away and then we'll get on with it. Oh, move! at the back of my shelter just because I have more room over here uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is, is completely take the pallets apart so I can see sort of how many how much uh, material we actually have to use I've got some basic tools with me I've got uh, a hammer uh, a couple of saws uh, and some nails hopefully that'll be enough I didn't, didn't bring like an electric screwdriver or anything like that but uh, we'll see how we get on so as I said first thing to do is take them apart completely and see what we are dealing with I've been going for a few minutes now and I find, I'm finding that I'm having real trouble trying to pry these cross pieces off in one go with just a hammer. Um, it's taking an age uh, and I can't quite get the, the leverage and every time I have managed to get one up a little bit it ends up splitting like this which obviously is no good. So what I'm going to do now and I've done it a couple of times is actually just use my saw to cut these cross pieces into sections and then pry them off more gently because I'm hoping or assuming that when the pieces of wood are shorter they'll be slightly more stable so it'll be, it'll be easier for me to pry them off um, which is fine in terms of the length because these are way too long for what I was going to um, make my wood store anyway it's just going to be more time consuming so I'll crack on with that and I'll get back to you uh, in a minute once we are <coughs> in a slightly better position Right, that's a way longer than I thought it was going to, but it's fine. So, we've got our cut up bits of pallet there. We've got some old bits of um, uh, panelling that I took from uh, from my house, which I'm going to use for the roof of this a bit later on. And then we've got the main pieces of our pallet over there as well. So the next thing to do is pull out all of the old rusty nails that are still stuck in these various bits of wood. So that should be fairly simple. Shouldn't take me a whole long, uh, whole long. Shouldn't take me a long time. I'm just going to knock them out of this one and pull them out of that one using the claw hammer. Um, just resting on this log here, so it should be fairly simple. So let's get my sit pad to come to the nails, pop that there, and where's my hammer? There it is. Alright, so now that all of our prep work is done, it's time to start trying to build this thing. Wish me luck.
All right, folks, so here we have it. After a long time and a huge amount of frustration, uh, finished product, and it looks, well, let's be honest, it looks pretty horrible, doesn't it? So, when stuff like this happens, there is only one thing to do, cheat. cheating complete and I have to say I still don't like it yeah yeah uh, the whole process I found very frustrating and annoying couldn't figure out what I was doing even from the very start trying to take the uh, the pallets apart annoyed me couldn't do that properly so it kind of mucked up my whole plan and I had to improvise and I've ended up with something that um, is a lot more rough shot than I thought it was gonna be so not overly happy with it but you know what you win some you lose some um, I now have a wood store, which is a positive, um, you know, and I put all the off cuts that I uh, didn't use in there, which will be really good for starting a fire next time, they'll make really good kindling, and I don't know, maybe next time when I come down and I chop up some actual logs and, uh, and fill it up, maybe it'll start growing on me, um, yeah, we'll see, anyway, uh, but thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, as always, if you like this kind of stuff, please make sure that you've hit subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified, and I'll see you in the next video, take care.